Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're going to make uh, work in my planner. So this is a plan with me video. Uh, yep, still got uh, the crud, but I'll be okay. I have some tea. This is delicious. Uh, Republic of Tea Apple Cider Cinnamon something. Mm. So good on a cold and dreary day. All right, so I'll show you what we got here. First off, I just released a sticker pack for cross stitchers. It is on my Etsy store. Um, we have Whipco, New Start, FFO, so good, Sal, uh, Flossmas, Coffee Please, Sep Sampler September, New Year, New Start, 25 7, Year of Whips, which I'm doing next year. Birthday start, marching orders, because that's hysterical. And then just some cute little haul, yeah. Uh, airplane, some frogs, hope nobody has to use the frogs. Some coffee cups. So this is a sticker pack I'm offering. They are high gloss on sticker paper. And they were professionally done. We're going to be working in my planner that I designed. I put a sticker on it because I kept forgetting which one was actually mine because they all look the same. So let's get started. I need more tea. Mm, so good. So first off, what we're going to do um, is start in January. I'm gonna move my pens. I do use uh, friction erasable pens when I work in my planner because I'm, I make mistakes. I mean, we all do. So, um, I like to be able to erase. And then I'm just going to do a little decorating here. Nothing crazy. So, like, on this page here. And you can use, like, a credit card or something if you're using washi tape. Just to cut it off in a good place. Um, I decided for January that I wanted to do like a navy blue with stars, kind of a winter feel to it. So that's what we're doing. And I don't want to take up too much of my space that I need to write in, but I would like it to be pretty as well. So we're just going to... Do that and this with just some washi. I may come back at a later time and decorate it a little more, but that's basically what I do. And I will probably come in with some like gold. And then I have decided that I definitely, definitely need a coffee sticker in this pack, in this month. I mean, let's be truthful. I need a coffee sticker in every month. This is uh, from a pack I ordered. These are not mine, but that is okay. I have, oh, well, maybe. I have more stickers than, quite frankly, I know what to do with. So, hence the decorating. Like February, I'll do probably in Valentine theme. Um, yeah, we need to put this off to the side here. This is my not just cross-stitch planner. I will use this as my planner for the year. Um, so I'm trying to leave space to write. I also have these really fun cat, um, paper clips or page markers, which I will probably use as like a page marker, but I don't need them right this second. So if I want to come in here, I definitely want new year, new start, right? Because I will have one of those this year. And I will put it over here. Right? Because that's how we roll. And then, I, like I said at a later date, I also have some of these stickers that I just bought. I just pick up stickers wherever I am at. Now, I also have these sticker rolls which I got uh, from the Happy Planner. And these are all about travel, which are gonna come in very handy. Somewhere over here, sorry about my squeaky chair. 
I have a couple things we can use. Most importantly, I'm going to need post-it notes. These are also great. Um, I'm going to show you. Oops, and I have more stickers in here, and I have little tiny stickers. Do I have any gold? I do have some gold, so maybe. What does this say? It doesn't say anything. It's just squiggly lines, so that's always nice. Um, Is it too early, guys? Do you guys get your planners out early? <laughs> I mean, I feel like this isn't too terribly early for me to be doing my planning, but I did want to show you my planner and how wonderful it can be uh, for gift as well. So if you're not a crafter or stitcher, but you know somebody who is, this could be a great gift idea. So there's that. All right, that's good for now. I will come back later. Um, I get these at the Dollar Tree. So if you didn't want to use a paper clip, this just goes right here. I mean, it's, re it's repositionable. So I could literally move this every month, right? I would just stick it there. The thing I don't love about it is that it sticks out the side, but I can also put it at the top. So those are options as well if you are a planner gal. And they were not expensive at all. They came from the Dollar Tree. Now, what do I use post-it notes for? Well, that's a good question. I'm not getting ready for April yet, but I know that I have Stitch North in April, right? So what I will do is I write it on the post-it note, and then I come to April, and I just stick the post-it note in here. And then until I'm ready to work, ooh, until I'm ready to work on this month, I just leave myself little notes. Um, I know in July I'm going to Ireland and I'm going to the Big Stitch. So I'll go back here to July and I'll put that right here. So I know when I get to that month that I have something coming up and I will do that. And then if I have something for next year, I'll put it in December. But right now, this is what we have. We know that New Year's Day for me is a holiday. And I will write in blue. Do I have a darker blue? Maybe. Maybe. That's black. I need to get some new pens. The one thing about these friction pens is that they um, dry up pretty fast. But I know that this is a holiday for me at work. So I will write that in. I write in any PTO that I take, and that's paid time off here in the States, or anything like that. I just drop it into my planner. Now, next up ooh, is, I got to move it away for a second. I have free charts in here that I can't show you. So here we have like challenges, finishes, any notes that I have. So I definitely know I want to do a new year, new start. Right? And then I'll just put whatever it is. And then underneath that, I will label what it is. I don't know about any cells. I don't know about any challenges. I definitely have fin things I want to happen. But actually, I do have some self-challenges. So I want to do this year one room in my Kringles. So I want to finish one room on the Kringles in January. And I want to finish one um, ornament on the Woodland Christmas. And I'll show you that. It's not really an ornament. It's I'm doing it as a 
one sheet, but I want, that's definitely something I want to do. In January, every month I want to have one of these these two things done, plus then work on anything else. Because I don't like to have a lot of stuff happening, right? I don't like to have a lot of whips. Let me come back this way for one second, and we're going to get, speaking of, we're, um, and then this is for 25. So once I get, this is G December, and then once, we get, you know, if I start planning stuff like retreats or anything in 2025, that's where we'll go. Now, whips, new starts, and plans. For me, this is going to be all about plans. And I actually have them written down over here in the order in which I would like to do things. So I did pre-write this out. I don't know what color I want. I guess we'll do it in black for now or maybe like pink. I don't know. We'll pick a color. But I want to, this year, I have my retreats, my year of whips. I am doing the year of whips. And I want to finish these things. Skeleton is questionable, so I'm not putting it on here. I didn't really even get a good start on it. And I think I have to rip out what I started. So I'm not really going to be worried about that one. But my year of whips are Kringles, There's Always Room, September's Revenge, Woodland Christmas, my Edgar Allan Poe, and Nevermore. These are whips. These are, I think, all my whips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think these were all my whips so far. And I want them done. They were all started a while ago. So, oh, I have other stickers here too. I bought these. These are a little different than mine. These are on a mat. I think these were done on somebody's printer, which is really cool. Um, but I wanted the shiny ones that I designed. No, nothing wrong with those. I actually bought those. All right. Well, let's let's write in black for right now. So year of whips. I need my sticker. And where is it at? Here it is. And I'm going to put my Year of Whips sticker right here, right there. Because that is, these are gonna be the Year of Whips that I have. And if you participate, and that's from Melanie of Soul for Stitcher, if you participate in Whipgo, I got stickers for you. Okay, so let's do this, Year of Whips. And this book here is where I track all of my pattern information and what I have going and what I don't and what I use for like fabric and floss and all of that. So my first pattern is Kringles. And this is by Little House Needlework. Because sometimes patterns do have the same name. And I started this April 30th of 2020. Now, do you see why I want it done? We're in 23 right now. We're going into 24. I want this done. So that is my first whip that I want completed. The next one that I want completed, let's do a different color, shall we? We're gonna make this colorful, is Nevermore. by Leela's Studio. I believe that is how you pronounce it. I don't remember when I started this, but it was right around the same time. So I'll just put 2020. And again, I want this completed. I finished that. And I don't have everything I stitched in here, but I sure do have a lot of what I stitched or didn't finish. That's done. Done. I am no bird. I did finish that. I finished that. Oh, these were my plans for this year. Okay. A Woodland Christmas has many charts. So like this one I did in November. I did that one January, February, March is done. There are uh, 12 patterns 
oops, I wanted a different color. We'll do a dark orange. How about that? And this is why I like using the friction pens. They erase. And this was um, Tiny Modernist. And I started this on 11-24 of 22. So I want that done. Um, I did the Christmas countdown. Oh, there's always room. This was my January start of this year. So this one is, and it's almost done. But I want it done. And this is from Maximum Cross Stitch. And I started this January 1 of 23. And like I said, that one is marginally almost done. Do I have a different color in here? That's another black, maybe not. These, I do have different colors of blue, so I guess we'll do that. Oh, and I have a purple over here. Okay. C is for coffee, done. Tall treat, done. Uh, done. Done. Ah, September's Revenge. Also by Maximum Cross Stitch. And I started this September 1st. And this one is very close to being done, which is lovely. And this is the last one that I would like to have done this year, Master of Macabre. And we'll see. If I don't get this one done, I will not be mad. Um, this could be my Dark 13 stitch. I mean, I literally just started this um, October 1st. So this is what's going to be in my year of whips, I believe. Yes, that's all of my year of whips, right? Because one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I'm not going to put the skeleton one on here. I just started it at the retreat. And I, like I said, I only put a few threads in it. So I'm not worried about that one. These down here, I would love to get finished. My goal on Kringles is one a month, one room a month, and there's seven rooms left. And then this one, I think I have like seven left as well. No, the Woodland Christmas. Nevermore has a fair amount left, but the big bird is done. And so I feel like this is where my year of whips right here, and this is what I would like to see finished. And then anything else I start, you know, can go down here. And this is the plan, the design of this. And I have gotten some feedback that I'm the weirdo that doesn't have a lot of whips. And so I think I'm going to make this these pages available, probably no numbers. I'll make them available on my Etsy store for that. And then this page is here is just for me for notes whatever you want to put in here, not an issue. And then we have retreat section, which is fantastic. And look, I already have a note. I told you I, I go in here and put these notes. So I know that I'm going to be going to, on a retreat, but this one does not involve an aeroplane. So I don't need my stickers for this, but I do need my notes over here. So let's say I'm going to Canada. Let's do this in red because, you know, Canada. And I'm going to stitch north. And I already have my tickets booked for this one. And it is going April 19th and 20th. 
and 21st. So, but I'm going to be up there the 18th. So we'll just put 4, 18, 23, 24, 21. I'm sorry, 24. See? My fingers get ahead of my brain, guys. 2, 4, 21, 24. And this is in Brampton, Ontario, Canada. And I've paid for it. Let's just put paid in here. I am departing on April 18th. And I'm returning home on the 21st. And I will be driving, and there is no parking fee at this hotel. Um, I don't remember the drive time. I don't remember the retreat costs and all that right in this, this second. But I know that I'm staying at the Courtyard by Marriott. And I already have my hotel booked. Confirmation number, to hotel, and then I will fill this in. Confirmation, hotel address, phone number, electricity at tables, no. So I need to bring my charger with me. And that is why that is in there, because I don't ever know exactly what I need to bring with me. The retreat, ugh, the retreat week will be here, so I'll be driving this day. I will be retreating on this day, this day, and then half a day on Sunday. So Stitch North is Friday, Saturday, half day on Sunday. I won't worry about all my packing and to-do lists just yet. Um, I don't know the vendor information. I don't have all this information yet or this information other than I do know that I need to pack my um, mag light. and charging brick because I always need to pack that with me. And because there's no electricity at the table, I know I need to do that. I am gonna do a smalls exchange this year. Um, I don't know what. In the neighborhood, I definitely am going to the Dollar Tree to get video, ID, video stuff. I'm going to Dollarama. I did not make it to Dollarama this time, so I'm definitely doing those two things. I know who some of my table mates will be, but not all yet. And I haven't decided the rest of this. So that is that information. And then we'll do, we've got the big stitch. next year and I do have a hotel in Rothersham it's a holiday in Rotherham UK and then I have all my information um, I don't have that trip fully booked yet um, I do know it is at the end of July. I think it's the 27th and 28th of July. My hotel is booked for the 26th to the 28th. I'm going to Ireland and then I will be going to the UK and then I'll be going home. So I don't quite have all this information, but that's the gist of how I will be doing it. Oops, that's a pattern. The gist of how I'll be filling out the retreat. I'll put my dates in. I will have get my hotel confirmation, the hotel address and phone number. Always handy to have these things in writing. I did already pay for my hotel, I mean my retreat. I don't know about travel yet. I am doing a small exchange. These are just for budgeting. Um, my departing and returning is not set in stone until I purchase my airline tickets that go from Dublin to Manchester and Manchester back to Dublin. So I do need to book all of that information. But this one gets an aeroplane because I am flying to this retreat here, right? Um, I should put it actually in my um, 
on the month that I leave, but that's okay. I can put it there as well. So that sticker will go here. And then once I know what's going on and who I'm meeting, then I will start filling all that in. So that's as far as I've gotten with the plan with me. Um, obviously I have plenty of stickers. I will be doing Flossmas this year. Um, I will do Sampler September probably. 25-7 maybe, I don't know. It's hard for me because of my jobs. Um, if I can do the 25 minutes a day, seven days a week on one project, maybe, maybe. Um, always shopping, that's just a given for me. And I'm hoping not to have too terribly many full starts and a lot of FOs or FFOs, if you will. So that is everything I have right now to get myself planned for next year. I know that Carolyn Zook, uh, C. Zook Stitch, is having a planning session in November, and I will participate in that Zoom call with my handy-dandy little planner here. I, oh, sorry. Hmm. I also need to order a new pack of pens because I'm missing a lot of colors, and that is A-OK. -okay with me so that's everything if you are interested in the sticker pack or the planner um you can check out the description box below my etsy link is down there and yeah you can plan along with me i'm hoping to do more of these because i do enjoy my planner immensely i need to mark my january Oop. i need to stop showing these patterns because they are freebies in the chart in the planner there we go and now I'm ready to start my year and get some stuff on the books for next year and I'll go ahead and firm up some dates and hotel things and find some more stickers all right guys well I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later bye